aqua friends welcome to my channel today i have this beautiful misty tree landscape for you and i'm going to show you the colors that i decided to use i have marine blue cobalt green viridian hue shadow green and cadmium yellow kind of wanted to do a palette that is my favorite colors so the first thing i'm going to do is wet my paper really well this is a beautiful reference photo from Pixabay, and I will include that in the description of the video. So I'm coming in with my cobalt green, and I'm just getting that misty background in. So just a very light wash uh, over the paper with that. Now while the paper's still wet, I'm sort of making that tree line that I see in the distance, those very misty trees. This is actually Viridian Hue, and um, it's a very nice turquoise color. So I did use the Viridian, it's very strong, so I wanna make sure that I have it watered down quite a bit. Now once I get my tree line in, I am going to use gravity to help me spread the paint. Dipping my paintbrush in some marine blue. So I'm just keeping an eye on what's happening to my colors. And as you can see, they have bled upwards and it created a very cool misty effect here. Now the foreground is quite dark and I'm gonna start putting that in with the marine blue. It's very, very dark. A little too dark there. I'm gonna take that back a little bit with the Viridian Hue. So I'm at this point bringing in that shadow green along with the marine blue. Again, tilting my paper, bringing that paper down to make those treetops and just letting it bleed together in a very natural way. Back into that shadow green, increasing the pigmentation because that foreground is darker. In the reference photo there, it's like maybe the trees are turning colors, like it might be autumn. I did like those highlights of the lighter colors on the trees, and so I decided to charge up some areas of the painting using cadmium yellow. Now everything is wet and it's going to bleed and spread in natural and wonderful ways. <laughs> And basically, as you drop in the, this paint, you're gonna kind of see where you wanna balance out and have these pops of yellow and where it needs to be darker. And it's just really a waiting game to see how much your paint is gonna spread and if you need to add more colors in certain areas.
with a little bit darker colors, just putting in some of those background tree shapes. Now I do want to charge up that area with a little bit more spots of yellow. So I'm using a nice big brush that's gonna drop in lots of paint. And I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. You want to watch and see how much your paint spreads and if you need any more little areas of that color. Once I'm happy with the amount that it's spread and I don't want it to spread anymore, I can sort of help solidify things by drying that area a little bit just to make sure that it's not going to spread anymore. So once your paper has dried completely, now we could put in those three tall foreground trees. I do want the base of the trees to be lighter, like in the reference photo. And basically you're just gonna lift uh, in order to get that shape of the tree trunk. And you're just lifting the paint and that's what's making your tree trunk. And I'm still going to add some darker areas to this tree trunk by using my shadow green on the other side. So I'm mixing shadow green with my marine blue to do this tree. And I do like to use a script liner brush to do the foliage. And I just making meandering lines, trying to stay loose with those brush strokes. And we're gonna repeat the process back to using my size six round brush. Putting in the next tree trunk. This one's taller. Lifting up the one side so that I get that lighter color. So as you can see, I further lift out the paint using my piece of paper towel. Getting the shadow side of my tree in. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go into doing the foliage on this next tree.
So you could go back over some areas where you want to drop in the paint to make it darker. Sometimes I like to take my script liner brush and kind of draw with just water and then drop the paint in because it will spread in its own organic way. Okay, so the last tree here, working it in the same manner. The brush that I'm using to lift is a chisel brush. It's a little stiffer and uh, it's a synthetic brush and uh, it's perfect for lifting. Now the background of this tree is, is darker on the sides and it really shows the lighter trunk area. So I'm trying to mimic that by really building up the foliage along the sides of the tree trunk. So it's a pretty simple project. You guys can come up with your own palette if you don't like the aqua colors. This would also look really pretty in spring greens and using sap green, um, some hookers green would be very lovely as well. So you guys can sign your painting. You just created a masterpiece. Congratulations. <laughs> so the last thing to do is just to take the tape off. So let me know what you guys think about this tutorial. If you're going to give it a try. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like landscape paintings, I have another one here for you to check out. Thanks for watching.